Hi everyone, welcome to Cook Stacy Cook. Today we are making hot and sour soup. This is a soup that will warm you up on a cold day. Let's get started. Cut some carrot into julienne strips. I cut them into one and a half inch or three centimeters in length. I use rehydrated shiitake mushroom in this recipe. Remove the stem and cut them into strips as well. You can also use fresh shiitake mushrooms, enoki mushroom or oyster mushroom instead. I also use some rehydrated blackwood ear mushrooms, stack them up and also cut them into thin strips. Next, cut some tofu into strips. You can use firm tofu or soft tofu for this recipe. Prepare one large egg, lightly beaten. Then cut some chicken into strips. I'm using chicken breast here because I like the texture of chicken in this soup. You can also use pork or beef instead. Cut the chicken parallel to the muscle fiber. Marinate it with minced ginger, salt, cornstarch, and a little bit of water. Mix everything together, then add a bit of oil. The oil will prevent the chicken from sticking together when you add it to the soup. Last, we will prepare a cornstarch and water mixture by mixing cornstarch with water. We will use it to thicken up the soup at the end. Now we are ready to cook. Bring a pot of chicken broth to a boil. If you use store-bought chicken broth, look for unsalted ones. Otherwise, adjust the amount of salt you add to the soup. Season the soup with dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, sugar, and salt. Then add the mushroom and carrot strips to the soup. Cover the pot and bring the soup back to a boil. When the soup comes back to a boil, we can add the chicken. You need to break up the chicken as soon as you add them to the soup. Otherwise, they may clump together. When the soup comes back to a boil, we can gently add the tofu to the soup. Gently stir the tofu into the soup and wait for the soup to come back to a boil. Then we are ready to add the cornstarch and water mixture. Stir up the cornstarch mixture because cornstarch will settle to the bottom. Add one quarter of the mixture to the soup at a time. Make sure you stir the soup gently as you add the mixture. Otherwise, the mixture could form clumps in the soup. Repeat until you have added all the cornstarch mixture to the soup. Stir the soup gently as you add the mixture. You will see the soup becomes thicker as you add more cornstarch mixture. Once you have added all the cornstarch mixture, wait for the soup to come back to a boil and turn off the heat. We can add the egg at this time. I like to pour the eggs to a soup ladle and swell the egg into the soup with the ladle. This will make the egg ribbons look better. Once you have swelled in all the eggs, leave the soup undisturbed for about 10 seconds. At this point, all the cooking is done. Have you noticed we haven't added anything hot and sour to the soup yet? We need to add the white pepper powder, the vinegar, and the sesame oil right before you serve the soup. This is because the flavor from the white pepper powder and vinegar will evaporate away when it's in the hot soup. So when you are ready to serve the soup, add the black vinegar, sesame oil, and the white pepper powder. Stir them into the soup, and we are done. If you don't have black rice vinegar, you can substitute with regular vinegar. This is a very easy soup to make, and it will warm you up and open up your appetite. I know I will be making the soup often as we heading into fall and winter. I hope you like this video today. If you find this video useful, please share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching and see you next time.